Hey guys, great to see you. Sorry I couldn't be on live with you on Zoom today, but I'm currently in the Columbus, Ohio airport. You know, Air Canada, their whole slogan, we're not happy till you're not happy. Anyways, I was supposed to fly home today and my flight got delayed, 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 and then eventually canceled. So I fly out at 6 a.m. in the morning, 6.30 a.m. in the morning, a different route. And I'm probably gonna be the air when we're supposed to have our Zoom. So I thought I would do up this video for you here and just to, here, I'll show you, I'm in the airport here, choose virtual background, I will change it. Where is it here? There we go, you can see behind me in the airport. Check it out. That's Delta. They transferred me to Delta for tomorrow, which is actually good, which is great. I'm supposed to have a face mask on, but I'm actually pretending to eat. So I don't have to have one on right now. Anyways, here we go. So you'll probably hear some background music. Let's put the background back on here and let's rock and let's roll to get you guys ready for a great week. And remember, what percentage of your success is mental? Most people say 90%. So we're going to work that into your week with your camp this week here. Let me share my screen. And first things first, you have a Goalie Mindset Academy account set up for the week of your camp. How do you get to it? You should have received an email and with a link where you would have created a password. And then when you need to, you go to it, you type in youofmind.com. Boom, you go there. And then when you get there, you need to log in. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in on the top right here. And sometimes when you're signed in, it'll still say like, you'll see the $99 a month, but just click on it, it should be good. You should be fine, it should take you right in there. If you have any issues, make sure to reach out um, and I'll take care of it right there. There you go, I'm just signing in through my autofill right here, done. Then you'll have your dashboard you're gonna have the Goalie Mindset Academy. So you're gonna click on it. When you come on, when we're gonna do our concentration games, here's what you need to do. When you, just before you log into Zoom, you go in here in the Goalie Mindset Academy, click on the Goalie Mindset Gym, and then you'll see concentration grids. You're gonna open them up. And when we do them, we're gonna do ascending concentration grids. So the first one is a three by three. Below that is three by four. It keeps going up half a grid all the time, all the way up to, well, if you're really good, you might get up to 14 by 14. <laughs> um, so here's what's gonna happen when we do our concentration game is you're gonna open up the lowest grid, the three by three. You're gonna go through it as quick as you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, stay dialed in. And then when that's done, all you do is you go to the next one, you open that up and you go through that. And when you're done that one, when you've clicked all the numbers and you're done that, then you go to the next one, you keep going up as high as you can. Now, when we do our concentration game, we're gonna have a real live hockey game playing in the background. Now, here's how it works. You're only going to be able to do your grids when the hockey game is on. When the puck is dropped and the, and the game is being played, that's when you open up your grid. If all of a sudden you're doing your grid and the play stops and I'll say stop, then you will stop. Then you'll stop, you'll wait, put your hands in the air. And when the puck's about to be dropped, boom, you'll start again. Now we have some fun rules that we do during the game. You'll be on one team or the other. It could be the Toronto Maple Leafs or the Ottawa Senators, whatever two teams we pick. You'll be on one team or the other. Let's say you're on the Toronto Maple Leafs and the puck is dropped to start the play and the Leafs lose the draw. If they lose the draw, you need to get up, do a full 360 sit back down and continue on with your grid and keep going through it and it's kind of cool like that and then once again when you're done the grid you go up to the next higher grid you close it you go up to the next higher grid another rule during the game is if your team takes a penalty let's say your team takes a penalty the whole duration of that penalty when you're doing your grid you click a number and then hands over the head then you click the next number hands over the head. After every number, if you're shorthanded, you got to put your hands over your head. These are designed to, to simulate real distractions that you're going to have in a game. The other one too, if your team ices the puck, if your team ices the puck, when the puck is dropped next, you, on your mouse, like I use my dominant hand, which is my right hand, but if my team was to lose a draw, I'd have to use my non-dominant hand, which is my left hand on the mouse. So maybe keep your right hand 
up here as you click it's just a little more difficult clicking with your non-dominant hand maybe not quite as quick uh, another thing as well too there's one or two other rules that i'm not remembering right now but i'll show you during uh i'll show you during the game or maybe we'll put in an email for you uh as well too we we got a lot of them though we got a lot we've covered a lot of the the rules for that okay so that's one part that is the concentration games the next is i want you to fully utilize this during this week so you get the most out of this and so the other thing that i want you to do that i want you to do is you'll see where it says daily routines so what you do when you first wake up in the morning go into daily routines and then click on morning routine and what I want you to do, I don't know if I clicked listen to audio, so I get to do another share. I'm gonna stop my share. I'm gonna do another share right here. Let's go share screen. Boom, and I, oh, there it is, University of Mind. I'm gonna share my sound so you can hear my sound. There we go. So when you go to your morning, uh, the first thing when you wake up in the morning, click the affirmations and just sit back and listen to them. I am a great goalie. Boom. And then after you listen to your affirmations, they're about two minutes. Do it first thing when you wake up in the morning. You can still be lying in bed when you listen to them. That's totally fine. Next is, or you get up, you're moving around, you're listening to your affirmations. First thing should go in your, your mind when you wake up in the morning is your affirmations. Next is your future self visualization. With this, imagine a team you want to plan or a game you want to play in in the future. And when this plays, it's going to say the words, see yourself in your clear picture. When it does that, you are going to see yourself in that game playing on see that team. yourself in your visualization room. So you listen to that. And those are the first two things to do. Do that every morning. The other one that I want you to do this week is don't worry about the creating confidence conditioning yet, at least until we go through how to, how to utilize that or the ultimate hype level. But do the smiling one. It's time for you to smile all you're gonna do is listen to the smiling one you're gonna smile for two minutes straight i recommend with that one maybe stand in front of a mirror that'd be fantastic look in front of the mirror smile for two minutes straight as you're listening to that and then listen to the morning questions you don't have to answer them just listen to them what's one thing you are happy about right now it'll ask you some powerful questions and the reason i, I say you don't need to answer them is because we're working with your powerful mind, which is your subconscious mind. So the questions will go in, your mind will come up with answers during the day. That's fine, just trust it. Okay, that is one thing that you're gonna do every morning. And then I recommend before you go to sleep, do your pre-sleep visualization and your nightly affirmations. These are, these are longer, this is nightly affirmations, like 26 minutes. You're thinking 26 minutes, but you can fall asleep in them if you want. They're super relaxing at nighttime for you. Next is the next thing that you're going to do is, so let's say you're on the ice, you're on the ice tomorrow. Okay. What you're going to do, you're going to go to practice mastery. You're going to go to practice prep. When you go to practice prep, you're going to put your name in there, date of the practice team. And first skill you want to get better at, let's say you guys are working at glove saves, whatever it is. I'm just saying, I'm just doing this as an example. Let's say it's glove saves and you're going to draw a diagram of you getting better at glove saves. So don't worry about how well you can draw, but here's what happens is when you do this, there you are holding your glove out. Boom. There's a puck going right in there and your, your eyes are on it. Your eyes are watching that puck. There is a great drawing for you. You gotta like it. Anyways, what happens when you draw it out, it, it works with the neurons in the brain. It starts to visualize yourself making those saves, doing well at it. Now, after you do that, the drawing, you're gonna visualize that, close your eyes and see yourself making glove save after glove save after glove save after glove save. Do that with at least one skill per night. If you wanna do it with more, if you know you're gonna work on more, do it with up to three skills. Do it quickly the night before, make sure you put your name, um, there you go, put in the date right here, put in whatever the date is, and then team, there we go. Okay, so you put your team in there, and then at the bottom, any other notes, I will focus on the puck and the play. And then you go submit. By the way, you go submit, 
They'll say, have a powerful practice. And what happens is, if you want, I can send you your own personal link. So it gives you your data for that. It gives you all your data, which is extremely important, specifically when you do after practice, when you come home, what I want you to do is do your practice journal. Same thing, put in your name right there, put in the date right here, and then team, whatever team you're on, put that in. And then your successes in practice. I'll say, I, I made some great glove saves. There we go. Do a revisualize the successes that you had. Apply that. I'll talk to you about the 23% rule this week. You're going to do that. And then things you'll do even better next practice. I will listen to my coach more, whatever that is, write that in there and then visualize yourself doing those things even better. And then mark off, what was your hype level? So just so you know, we'll talk about this week. Hype level is a one would be sleeping, a 10 would be jacked right up. What hype level were you in practice on a scale of one to 10? You want to be aware and get to your level that you play your best at. Some goalies play best at five or six. Some goalies play best at a nine or a 10. Confidence level, were you a 10 out of 10 in confidence? If you were, mark it off. If you were a nine or eight or seven, mark that off. <laughs> your flashlight, excuse me, your flashlight on the puck in the play. Was it a 10 out of 10? Was it a seven? Was it a six? Was it on different things? Was it on the clock or the time left? You want to keep it just on the puck and the play. Okay, work ethic, mark that off. Puck tracking on every shot, whatever you think you're at. Rebound control, whatever you think you're at. Practice like you were played in a game. Practice just like a game, mark that off. And then what are you grateful for for today's practice and any other thoughts? I am grateful for the saves I made. Whatever you're grateful for, and then click submit right here. You can print and save these first, but make sure you end up submitting them. Because here's what happens. You submit these every day, and you reach out, and you want your own personal link. I'll create it for you and send it to you. It'll give you a report, and it'll say, okay, out of your five days, your hype level was a seven for two of them, an eight for one, and a nine for two of them. Your confidence was at this. And so you start to see patterns that emerged as well too. So there you go. You submit it. Boom. It plays the video. Okay, there you go. It plays the video. Anyways, there you go. That's what I want you to do for this week. There's lots of other stuff that you can do <coughs> on here as well too. If you want to do some goalie skill visualizations, click on them and practice mastery. You can listen to these. They'll take you through visualizations on different skills, help you get better there. There's uh, lots of other stuff you can do uh, with this as well, too. Different games you can play. You can go into the Mindset Flicks this week. It's like Netflix for the goalie mindset. Watch this on Zane. I think you're going to see him in the National Hockey League this year. This is a great one. Or on Rico, uh, very good ones here. Jack LaFontaine, Kristen Campbell, one of the three Olympic goalies for Team Canada this year. And... Byron Ritchie, Billy Ranford from NHL Scouts. There's a whole bunch. There's about a hundred or more videos on there, just like Netflix, but specifically for the goalie mindset. You might as well take advantage of those this week as well too. And then you got your game mastery for when you play games as well. You got a post-game journal. You do similar to a practice journal as well. You get your own personal link. It marks off all the things Key, excuse me, key things in here. And then pregame preparation to a pregame visualization. And there you go. You're set. I'm really looking forward to working with you this week. <coughs> We're going to have a, I think I ate something. I went down the wrong way. We're going to have a powerful, powerful week this week. I am so looking forward to working with you and making it a great week. Okay, let's end the meeting before I choke here. Okay, have a great one. Look forward to seeing you on Zoom real soon. Signing off, Pete Fry, the Goalie Mindset Guy.